when you want to use the Renishaw probe on our Doosan DNM 500, the first thing we got to do is double check that the control has a length established for that Renishaw probe. And on these mills, we use tool 30 to be the probe tool. So if you push the offset key, we need to scroll down till we can find tool 30 on the left. So on the first page, it shows 1 through 16. So you can either arrow down, or if you hit page down, it'll go to the next page. So if we arrow down to tool 30, it has a length value right now of 7.406. If that number matches the number we have up here, you will know that you have the right value in the control for that probe. And then you will be able to use the probe. When you go to install the Renishaw probe in the spindle, the only way you can do that is if you push the handle mode on the bottom left of your control. Now you are able to push the tool unclamp button up by the spindle and it'll open and close. So, when you go to install the Renishaw, make sure you wipe off the taper and make sure it's very clean. Then, you gotta depress this tool unclamp button and hold it for a little bit. And now lit up, which the spindle is now open. You only can install the probe one way because of the drive dogs. In this case, the dimple on your tool needs to go back. Once it is seated properly, you can push the tool unclamp, and it is now seated in there. Now you are ready to use the Renishaw Pro. When you are done using the Renishaw Pro, we always want to remove it from the spindle, since we have four machines and other students that want to use it. Don't put it in the carousel. So when you remove it, hold it right away. Push the button and hold it for a little bit. It is now released. Close the spindle. And we always want to store our Renishaw probe in this case. And then once you have it in the case, put it over by the power lock, and that is where we keep it throughout the year.